What's going on, man? Not much, man. What's going on? Not a heck of a lot. Can you believe that most people don't know how to open or close a car door correctly? They don't know how to open or close a car door correctly? You, right? you would think that everyone does because we probably do it dozens of times every day. Yeah, pull handle. Yeah. Push. Push. Pull shut. Pull. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, I decided to make a video all about how to properly open and close your door. Okay. How's that sound? That sounds pretty good. We'll be right back. So, today's video is all about how to properly close your door and open it because people really don't do it right. I mean, what are all the different ways that people close and open doors wrong? Right? They push it open too hard. They slam it too hard. Um, they pull on it too hard. They don't hold it on a windy day and it just slams open with the or wind. Close. Or close. Yeah. Clothes, All yeah. sorts of different things that causes doors to start giving people problems in a short period of time. Now there are ways to address this. There are ways to fix this. So if you tell your kids, don't slam the door, that kind of applies to people with cars and trucks at the same time. You know, when you open your door, you probably don't open the doorknob and then kick the thing open so it hits whatever's behind it. You probably open it pretty softly. There's a reason for that. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. Well, since we're in my buddy's truck and he has volunteered to be part of this video, we're gonna demonstrate how not to open your door. So how do you not push your door open when you open a door? You don't hold it down and then you kick the thing open. <laughs> All right, so that goes for just about every type of activity that could cause that door to swing out and end up putting stress on the hinge. What happens when you overstress a hinge? Think about it this way. Opening that door and swinging it out with all the leverage and weight on that door is kind of the equivalent of using a torque wrench and torquing your bolts and torquing everything outwards with a lot of leverage behind it. So let's talk about what that does. So when you push the door out and it catches and it stops, these brackets right here have a tremendous amount of force right there stopping the door from continuing to go further. What you end up doing is you put stress on the bolts that are in here as well as the nuts or the plate that's behind here preventing this from happening. You end up spacing this piece out or bending this slightly so when you go to close the door, the door doesn't close right or this entire assembly right here ends up becoming very loose over time. That is the number one cause of why vehicles, doesn't matter what brand you have, after about 10, 15 years, start acting funny when you try to close the door. Over time, after you've continuously allowed the door to catch there, it also starts to shift this plate, and it can even bend this portion. So it puts extra wear and tear on not just this piece, not just your hinges, and also the latch in here that catches that little bar. So now we're gonna demonstrate the correct way to open up a door. open. Continue to hold on to the door as the door goes out simply because it prevents the amount of stress and fatigue from occurring on those two hinges right there. Now let's talk about the proper way to close the door. So a lot of people like to do this deal, but that's not the right way to close a door. People do that because that's kind of what you've always done. And the reason why you don't want to slam a door like that is because this gasket right here is designed to provide not just a seal, but also acts as a bumper for when you close the door. Once the door closes, it compresses the seal slightly. What you end up doing when you slam the door, or even if you close it and kind of let go like this, is you make it hit the seal and bounce back slightly. Not only does that put, again, additional wear and tear on this component right here, it'll prematurely cause your seal to fail, and it can even cause your door to become unaligned over time. So when getting out of your vehicle, what's the right way to close the door? This is how it's tested by the manufacturers when they do the durability test. It's pulled and pushed shut. Pulled open and pushed shut. Not slammed, but you basically keep your hand on it all the way until the door is closed. So let me show you that again. Grab the door and push it shut like that. That is how to properly close a door. So most people open a car door by opening it like that, climbing inside, and then pulling the door shut. Manufacturers do torture tests on doors where they open and close them like 10,000 times. And if you notice, they never slam the door shut. They always do this with the machine. It opens the door and then it closes the door. It opens the door and then it closes the door. But there's an arm that's attached to it that's designed to pull the door completely until it's latched versus allowing it to slam. That shock over time will make your doors start acting and feeling very old. It'll wear your hinges out, it will wear your weather stripping out, and it will wear the latch out that actually holds the door shut. 
Now, I know this is a very, very common sense video, but for those of you who are adults and have been telling your children for years not to slam the door, you've been telling them the right thing. But a lot of times we only consider a slam when the door is wide open and you slam it shut. A slam is even this, when you let go of it and you allow the door to hit with a hard impact. And this is any vehicle. I actually decided to make this because of a friend's Chevrolet truck that I was in and he was wondering why his doors felt so loose. So we looked at the hinge assembly and you could actually see how they had flexed over time. This goes for Ford, this goes for Ram, this goes for Toyota, Nissan, it really doesn't matter. Just be careful with how you open and close your doors if you want them to last and if you want your vehicle to have that newer feel for a much longer period of time. Did you know all this already? I did. I figured you did. You take really good care of your vehicle and I know that you don't let people destroy your vehicle or do things that are abusive. And a lot of it's just common sense, right? That's right. But oftentimes we don't think about it. We pull up to a store, we get out, we slam the door, and we really don't think about maybe the wear and tear that we're adding to it. It may not show itself, right, for the first couple of years, oh, yeah. but it sure as heck starts showing itself the more miles you put on the vehicle, right? That's right. Now, I know you've had a couple trucks in your life. Would you say that they've suffered from loose door syndrome after a while? Uh, yes, even, even I think even with, uh, you know, proper opening and closing, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen as often or as soon as it would if you really yeah. mistreat your doors. And this is a really ridiculous video because it's so simple, but a lot of people just forget. That's, right. That's what it's all about. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. And we'll talk to you again very soon.